we're asked to list the x values where the function has discontinuity. We are given f of x equals natural log of cotangent squared x over the interval from 0 to 2 pi, including 0 and not including 2 pi. For reference, I've included the graph of the basic natural log function on the left and the graph of the basic cotangent function on the right. Before we determine the x values where the function has discontinuity, let's list the conditions for continuity. If we take a look at the graph of the basic natural log function, notice how the domain, or set of all possible inputs, would be x greater than zero. So going back to our function f of x, this indicates that cotangent squared x must be greater than zero in order to have continuity. So cotangent squared x must be greater than zero, but also cotangent x must be defined. If cotangent x is not defined, then of course f of x equals natural log of cotangent squared x is not defined. So now let's list the conditions for discontinuity. Again, we know to be continuous, cotangent squared x must be greater than zero. Well, because we're squaring the cotangent function value, cotangent x can be negative because squaring a negative results in a positive. But this does indicate we would have discontinuity where cotangent x equals zero. Cotangent x equals zero does not satisfy the condition for continuity of cotangent squared x being greater than zero. Similarly, to be continuous, cotangent x must be defined, and therefore if cotangent x is undefined, we also have discontinuity. So we say or cotangent x is undefined. And remember, cotangent x is undefined where y equals cotangent x has vertical asymptotes. So now we have all the information we need. We need to determine where the graph of the basic cotangent function over the interval from zero to two pi radians, including zero and not including two pi, is equal to zero or has a vertical asymptote. So analyzing the graph of the basic cotangent function here on the right, notice cotangent x is zero at pi over two radians as well as three halves pi radians. These are the two values where cotangent x is equal to zero in the given interval. And then cotangent x is undefined where we have vertical asymptotes which occur at zero radians, pi radians, and of course two pi radians, but two pi radians is not in the given interval. So now we know f of x has discontinuity at x equals zero, x equals pi over two, x equals pi, and x equals three halves pi radians over the interval from zero to two pi radians. Let's go ahead and write that out. And let's go ahead and check this by looking at the graph of the given function f of x. So of course we could have started with this graph, but I think it's helpful to analytically determine where a function has discontinuity before jumping to the graph. So looking at the graph of the function, we do have discontinuity at x equals zero, x equals pi over two radians, x equals pi radians, and x equals three halves pi radians over the given interval. I hope you found this helpful.